Grand Rise and Grand Rise and happy Saturday morning. Checking on the uh, aquaponic system as it's still cycling. All ran off solar, all DIY. There's my DIY small sump with my uh, small uh, DIY prawn, juvenile prawn habitat in it. I'm making a few more of those today and some larger ones to go into the big sump. And some smaller ones to go in here. Everything's looking good. What I've decided to do is, instead of putting all my hydrogen clay grow media in the drain and dump aquaponics DIY grow bed, since I'm gonna be planting in the air pots anyway to save, to save, uh, not waste a lot of this grow media, because this is expensive. But it's, uh, well, I wouldn't say it's expensive, it's, it's costly. And uh, to save on that, because I'm gonna be growing in air pots anyway, I decided just to only put it into the air pots and not put it into the grow bed. And uh, again, gotta use your mind when you're doing this stuff, you know, so. And uh, I got some more coming. And uh, this will this will also help keep the, uh, the grow bed clear, not clogged, the bell cycle from not getting clogged, and so forth. So everything is running good. Looking forward to uh, going to the next step, which is adding the uh, fish, bluegill fish in the 55 gallon tank here, and adding my, uh, my freshwater prawn in the small sunk right there in the big sump underneath here because everything is sitting on top of it. So, and they're, all, and they're my cleanup crew also. Prawn are scavengers. They're a species of a shrimp, just larger. They're scavengers. They'll eat all the, uh, the fish waste that's not processed by the uh, beneficial microbial bacteria and they'll eat all the uh, dead plant roots and so forth too. So. And then you can eat the prawn, <laughs> you know, eat the shrimp, freshwater prawn, so, which are supposed to be very, very delicious from what I'm hearing, so, and they're much larger than crawfish and uh, so forth, so. Hope everybody's having a good Saturday morning and getting to it. Till next time.